for a summer haul of the year just hits differently. Coucou, my name is Anastasia and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you like minimalist fashion, neutral styling and wearable outfits, chances are you will like it here. Summer is finally here and with that I congratulate you all. Warm weather, nice outfits, cute dresses, basket bags, all of the goodness. And for that matter we are doing a huge, well huge for me at least, uh, otherwise pretty big uh, summer haul accessories, some basics, dresses. So that's what I'm gonna show you today. Uh, the majority of the items I got myself. Some of them are gifted. If they are, if I have any, you know, discount codes, I will try mentioning all the info while I'm talking to you. But if I do not, you can find the links to all of the items as well as my sizes for the references. And if you are here majorly for the lookbook part and want to see how I sell the items, how they fit, uh, the time of the lookbook is somewhere on the screen. So yeah. We have some mass market, we have some luxury items, well one luxury item to be more exact, and uh, some also niche brands. Uh, yeah. What shall we start with? Okay, let's start with the item that might be my absolute favorite, and it's this gorgeous white dress, uh, which was sent to me by the brand Miu Miu's. And I mean, um, I'm married, we haven't exactly celebrated wedding, but if we have, I might wear it to one of the uh, events or something. At the top, it's your like a regular sundress, nicely fitted, yeah. The main event of this dress is this beautiful, like, ruching detailing on the bottom. You will see it in the lookbook part, it looks so stunning on. Second dress of this haul is a much more daytime appropriate, much more wearable. I got it from the brand LCYPK, if I remember correctly, because I was been shopping with my mother. It's your basic summer, comes and goes every year, uh, black sundress with a bit of ruffles, fitted bodice, and then the skirt is gorgeous and rather full, and it's also like rather heavy, and by that I mean that when you are wearing it, the skirt stays on its place, which is very beautiful, and also have a bit of a ruffling uh, down on the hams, so I mean, you, you can definitely see continuity in my dress choices this time of the year. I just only realized that uh, not only I have majorly just neutrals to show you, but they are also mainly black and white, like almost all of them, but you know, what can I say? I'm not a colorful girl, but still, I do have one colorful item. Uh, and it's also a dress, unsurprisingly. It was sent to me by the brand Miro Kitty. Uh, you can find them on Amazon. And it's a perfect wedding dress. First of all, the silhouette is absolutely gorgeous. It's a nice cocktail dress. You are not hot in it. Still, it's not, you know, inappropriately casual for the wedding. The color is great as well. It's pastel pink. It can by no means be mixed up with the white, which beiges and creams can sometimes. So, you know, you will not offend even the most easily offended bright. It's a gorgeous halter top, once again fitted bodice, and then the skirt, I mean it's a bit of a mermaid skirt, if I were to say so myself, has this beautiful kind of, oh it's not actual wrap around, but it's a look alike with those ruffles, which also makes it very flattering and you know uh, takes some attention away from your tummy just in case you know you get bloated or you want to eat because uh, we all know that some cocktail dresses do not exactly allow you to eat. This one does. Uh, also on the dress note, I think I'll show you the last dress. It was a gift, not from the brand, but from the from a friend. Uh, it's by the brand Aqua and uh, you might think that it's not exactly the most appropriate summer dress. However, however, what do you wear when it's raining? Huh? 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 Because uh, in my opinion, yes, while those dresses might be a little bit more fall appropriate, those are great to wear on the warmer summer days with like 
high rubber boots, wellies. They look so chic and I do much more prefer these kind of outfits to, you know, your regular leg and sit boots kind of look. It does have a belt that comes with that, but you know, you can always belt it your own. And man, that reminds me, I desperately need a belt. Uh, I have honestly only have one right now and it's vintage and it's screaming at me for using it so much. I so need a belt. I haven't been mentioning the sizes at all, have I? So the white dress is in size S, I believe. Uh, this black one is extra small and this one is also size S. Okay, let's do h and down. I've got two closing items and I basically got them together, so I'm going to show them to you together as well. First one is your usual uh, little stripey top. I really like catching them, you know, basics, so I always top up on them when I'm in there. But in size extra small, uh, fits nicely, very comfortable. I love stripes for summer. I mean, especially with the whites. Let's speak about the whites. Uh, those pants are like perfect vacation pants in my opinion. Those are white, linen blend, straight leg, very loose, kind of low rise fitted pants. I got them in size small. They also came in blue and like white and blue stripe pattern, I believe, but I really like the white. And obviously they're kind of see-through because it's linen and uh, they do not have any lining under them. But honestly, I do not mind for the summer. I'm majorly planning on wearing them like during vacation and stuff. And maybe as a beach cover-up, so if someone can see my bikini, so be it. And also from H&M, I got a pair of sunglasses. I mean, I love myself a designer pair of glasses. However, when I'm going on the beach, I can be so bad with forgetting my stuff and I do not really want to, you know, get my more expensive stuff wasted and get it lost on the beach. So I always get a pair of mass market, well, polarized, obviously, and, you know, kind of good quality sunglasses just so that if I lose them on the beach, I'm not upset about it. So those are your regular in the middle of a square and cat shape sunglasses. I wear them a lot. Uh, they're also very comfortable. They are very light. While we are on the topic of sunglasses, uh, let's get the elephant out of the room because I did an unboxing in shorts or on TikTok, but I'm not sure which video is coming first the unboxing or this haul. So uh, anyway, I've got myself a new pair of designer glasses. Those are from Dolce & Gabbana. And once again, if you're wondering, Dolce & Gabbana are on the lower price side of the sunglasses world. Uh, yeah, so that's what I'm talking about. I'm gonna put my hand in the sunglasses somewhere else. The glasses that I've got are in the middle of a cat shape and the more round-like Celine Triumph vibe sunglasses. They're turtle shell and they have a little gold DG on the side. I mean, I like them. They also have really nice dark brown lenses which filter the sun nicely, but still they're not too dark. I don't like my sunglasses to be too dark. The shape is nice, it complements me. They are also very comfortable. Okay, and since we kind of move towards the beach wear, location wear, I'm gonna show you some shoes. Tell me you are a creature of habit without telling me you are a creature of habit. When I find something that I like, I tend to get it in multiple different, you know, styles. But anyway, those, I got myself a new pair of just basic black flip-flops. Uh, from Hawaiians. I do like their flip-flops. They are very comfortable. They take close to non-space in your beach bag. They are very lightweight. So uh, for that matter, love them. Ooh, hobby's got the coffee. Hobby's got the coffee. Hmm. Mr. Steels. You can actually see in the mirror. <laughs> anyway. Uh, speaking of other thong sandals and stuff, these ones are from Mango and I had such a huge epic fail with this style last summer. Got two pairs, one I bought them online while I were away and then I came home. I've tried them on and both pairs were so huge. Well, I have a very narrow feet and it was impossible for me to walk in those because I just kept losing my shoe and the time of return has already passed. So that was a big fail. However, 
This time I got prepared these mango ones are great. They fit me perfectly. They also like have this kind of squishy part. What, what I'm saying is that they're very soft. And once again, if you have this issue of having narrow feet, highly recommend those ones. I forgot about the sizes again, yeah, haven't I? The mango ones are in size 38, the Hawaiians are in size 37. Another pair of kind of summery vacation, but like for me equally city, like urban summer in the city style are these Birkenstock-like uh, shoes, sandals that I got from Pool and Beer. They're so comfortable. They're so nice and fit. They come in different colors. I've got myself in the color Haki, Khaki, I believe. They also come in black and probably brown. But yeah, I do really like them. They look amazing, like with those kind of linen pants, also with jeans, maybe denim skirt. They're great. Got them in size 38. And that's why I hate doing huge hauls, it's so exhausting, but anyway, moving on with the uh, summery beach wear. Uh, I do have a new basket bag to show you. Uh, I got this one from Manga and I mean, it's basically a leather basket bag, but without the logo. Everything else is kind of the same. Well, some of the quality, of course, because this one is much more in the end of the day, but yeah, I believe it also goes with black leather, I prefer myself brown. And the last kind of beachy thingy that I've got is a new cap, also from Mango. This one is from the dark navy denim, which is so cute. I do not own any denim caps and I haven't really exactly thought about it, but when I saw it on the website, I was like, that is actually, yeah, that is actually very cute. And I said the classic clap in a very, you know, I don't know, Vogue font style, which I do once again like. It's very understated, very easy to wear, very simple. Since we started with the mango, I think we shall, you know, continue with it. Uh, I do have two clothing items from mango. Uh, first one is, you know, nothing to write home about. However, I do really like mango basic tops. Uh, they are knitted, like the H&M ones, hence why they're a little bit more, you know, smart, city appropriate. And I got in size extra small. I've got something that I have been failing to find in Zara for a year. Yeah, I guess for a year at this moment. And that would be a maxi denim skirt. I wanted a simple one, which would be a little bit low rise and which would be extra long. Like the long I'm talking about is when you wear it with flats, it touches the ground. And this skirt is exactly what I have been looking for. And what sold it to me is uh, this very kind of undone hem of the skirt. I doubt it would be my fall to winter skirt. So maybe I will, you know, continue trying to hang down this summer skirt once again, or maybe I'll just grow out of trend, but I found it doubtful. Uh, but for now, this one will do. And I got it in size small. I do have two more pairs of shoes from Mango. Our uh, first ones are your very boring, very necessary pair of white pumps. I found myself like through the year gravitating towards mango when it comes to heels. For some reason, the shoe form like it's very A is very flattering on the narrow feet, and second of all, they are kind of very comfortable. And the last pair that I've got from Mango are those slick bags. Uh, they have a very kind of pointy nose, they're beige color, kind of patent leather, which surprisingly do not annoy me. And then it has this kind of gold buckle, which reminds me so much of uh, the Dior CD logo. Like, I mean, it does, doesn't it? While I was shopping for those, I saw this back online and I thought they would be really cute together. Something like this would be very romantic and maybe a nice in-between day and night day to night kind of bag. It's very small, it fits close to nothing, but it does fit my phone. Okay, what else do I have? Oh, that would be this really like adorable bodysuit that I was given by the brand called Ovin. They also have an Amazon store. And I mean, 
if it's not a perfect kind of Italian, Sicilian, summer, Malena vibes, then I don't know what is. Like, can we just have a moment for the sleeves? And it comes in like the variety of colors. And to finish this hole off nicely, I've got myself a new pair of sneakers. And unsurprisingly, I've got myself a new pair of Adidas original sneakers. Uh, I'm an Adidas girl through through. I do love the shape. I do find them extremely comfortable. I think they go with everything in terms of you know day to day wear. I went for Adidas campus, which are a little bit wider and more of a skateboard sneaker style. They are kind of on the rise. I mean, sambas are going towards the end of their moment gazelles are having their moment like their eat sneaker right now and these ones are on the rise so if you are looking for a pair of sneakers that would be trending next don't look anymore i got them in size 38 and you know i'm usually in size 38 8 in adidas my that was a lot of talking i hope that would be like the longest haul i have done like in a foreseeable future because yeah let's move on to the lookbook part let's do the styling Okay guys, this is basically wraps up this video and I'm not gonna be talking a lot, you know the deal. You do not have to by any means to subscribe to this channel or like this video. However, mm -mm -mm. however, if you have really enjoyed what you saw and you would like, you know, to see me again, it would mean a world to me if you subscribe, like, once again, you know the deal. And uh, if you are looking to, you know, see even more of me, even more often, uh, I'm on Instagram, TikTok, Pinterest, it's Anastasia Cherebrova. The links will be in the description below. And other than that, I'll see you in the next one. So, bye.